Hi, I'm David, and I'd like to show you how DroidScript and the new Remix Mini combine to make what we think is the perfect educational device. This cute little gadget is the Remix Mini. It's amazingly powerful and surprisingly affordable. It runs Android, but it gives you a familiar desktop experience. All you need is a keyboard, a monitor, and a mouse to turn it into a very capable desktop machine. DroidScript is a free programming tool which allows novice programmers to create professional quality apps. It uses JavaScript, which is now the most popular computer language on the planet. We've reworked DroidScript to create a special version which runs beautifully on the Remix Mini. So let's take a look. Those of you familiar with our app will notice that here we've combined the Wi-Fi editor and the Android app into a single package. This means you get all the added power and features of the Wi-Fi editor directly on the Android device. So here we have the basic Hello World app that comes with DroidScript. I'm going to quickly show you how we can edit that. If we press play, this is what it looked like, looks like currently. An image and a button. So what we can do is Alt-Tab between the app and the editor. So I'm going to try and make the image a bit bigger. So we'll change this value here, hit play again, and hey presto, our image is now much bigger. It's as simple as that. Now we can also see the logging here on the right. So whenever we press the button, we see the logging events appearing in the right hand side. DrawScript is great for making connected apps and IoT, Internet of Things, but it's actually not cloud-based. It actually works on standalone devices without any internet connection, which can be really useful if you've got intermittent or patchy internet connection. Um, often is the case in third world countries or indeed educational institutions where internet access is often restricted. So now I'm going to quickly demonstrate a few types of app you can create in DroidScript. So here we have the Molecules demo. It's an example of using the popular JavaScript library called 3.js. You can see we have a nice molecule here. We can spin it around. We can switch to a different one. All right. And DroidScript can actually speak to us and announce the name of the molecule. So here we have a phaser demonstration. Here we're using the open source phaser game engine in DroidScript. And you'll be able to see that we can create some quite amazing things with this game engine and it's very well documented as well. So if we're going to load some nice animations here. That's the animation example. And of course, one of the other simple demos we have is the classic Space Invaders. Of course, creating games is a great way to learn how to code because it's fun and educational at the same time. And at DroidScript.org, we think that using our app on affordable devices like the Remix Mini can enable people without any formal education to become what we call citizen coders. This can give underprivileged young people access to the rapidly expanding tech economy, improving their future prospects enormously. Before we go, I'd like to show you just a few of the devices you can connect to the Remix Mini and use in DroidScript. So here we have an Xbox 360 controller which I've plugged into Remix Mini. Now we've created our own game called Andri and Angry Androids for this. So you can see how you could easily build your own little games console. You can press the start button and here we go. So here you can see a little Linux compatible USB HD camera which we've plugged into the Remix. Now we can run one of the DroidScript samples here. I'm going to run the camera snap example and that will allow us to use the camera. So there we go, there's the picture. 
I'm going to zoom in on the remix box and snap a picture here. Now, of course, there are more sophisticated uh, camera samples in DroidScript, including doing color detection and motion detection. Finally, I'm going to show you this device. This is the BBC Microbit. This has been given to all 11 year olds in the United Kingdom, and it's an educational device. So here we have a special plugin for DroidScript, which allows us to control that device. And we're going to try sending a smiley face to this using Bluetooth Low Energy. So you can see DroidScript's searching for the device. And there it is. We're going to connect. And when we press this button, you should see the smiley face appear. There it is. That's the BBC Microbit. So now I'm going to show you an app we created with DroidScript to demonstrate its full capabilities. This app is an interactive storybook and it has inbuilt games and animations and sound effects. Here we have a um, multimedia story created with DroidScript, some nice animations and some text which some sounds. Which anybody could do with a bit of JavaScript practice. This is a little educational part of the app. You can see here we see information about dinosaurs. And we get sound effects. Here we have an interactive cooking game. In this game, we have to help the mummy dinosaur to make a cake. And you can see we do drag and drop here, various ingredients, and help the mummy dinosaur make the cake. Now I should say you can control Lego Mindstorms, Arduinos, Esprinos, and all sorts of other embedded microcontrollers and gadgets with DroidScript. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you can see why DroidScript and Remix make a compelling combination, together providing a great package for both educational and recreational use. I'm David, this video was created for DroidScript.org.